Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. I'm going to show you three different ways that you could do something like this or at least break the text apart. Probably the easiest way and the fastest way is just to grab the knife tool, which I very seldom ever use. But if you hold down the control button, it cut that text in half. That's pretty cool. Then you can always make the text different colors. Or, we'll back up here where it's still one text. The one that probably takes the most time that I very seldom ever use, but it does show you back minus front, is I'm going to make that box uh, two inches. I'm going to move this more to the center. That's close enough. I want to change my nudge factor to two inches. I'm going to nudge that box, a copy of it. I hit the plus key on the keyboard. I am going to make another copy with the plus on the keyboard and drag that down. Now, if we grab the text, and we don't have the text as you can see it, but if we grab the text, I'm not grabbing all of either boxes, hold down the shift and grab the top box and go back minus front, you've taken away the top. Now, I'm doing this actually backwards. Now, if we grab the text, which we don't have, we'll grab the text, Hold down the shift and grab the bottom box and go back minus front. I did it just backwards because now your text is on top, but it gets the exact same thing done. And you've got only half and you can make it whatever your color want. Now, the other way I've done it probably the most, and if you're going to do something like the rainbow color up top, is to use the Smart Fill tool. I'm going to hit P and put that in the center of the page. I'm going to take a two-point line, and I'm going to hit P, put it in the center of the page. I'm actually going to look at that. I could color it in now, but I like having a wireframe look. And I could nudge each letter, each color down, but I don't have to. So I'm going to make the bottom red. I'm going to change the top to yellow. And what I can do, I could have nudged it all down, but I can take this and right-click no outline, and then I can grab the yellow and control G to group it. I made a duplicate of it. Control G, and I'm not getting all the all the red, so it works. Then I can nudge that up. I'm going to grab the red, control G. Now what I can do is do what we did up here with the interactive fill tool. Now when you're doing this, you don't want to move it very far. You want to just start somewhere and go downward. You know what? I've got that selected. So select your item always first before you get your interactive fill tool. It's going to pick red for the first color. Now we're going to make it yellow. And I'm a little bit far away, so I'm going to bring it in. Now this time, I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm see I, you need to pick your text. Okay, pick your text, go to the internet. Wow. Normally, if you pick the text, interactive field tool, huh. There we go. It was just going to that spot. Now we can make this red up top. And you've got some shadow in the middle. Now you could do the same thing with some other way. And the only reason I don't really like that is because you've got you got a line separation between them. But that's how, and you don't have to use those colors. You know, you can just make them solid blue. Anyway, I hope that helped just a little bit. Thank you for watching.